Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite glowy makeup products. I like to keep my eye makeup pretty matte. If anything, I like to add glitter but not shimmer. But everything else I love to keep very glowy because I just love how fresh and natural but also how wide awake you can look when you use glowy makeup products. If you want to know more about these products, keep watching. So the very first thing I would like to mention is not a makeup product. This is kind of like a multi-purpose balm. You can mix this into your foundation. For your lips, I love to use this on my lips, especially at night. It's like my nighttime lip balm. And it is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Protectant Cream. I have mentioned this in other videos before and I recommend this so, so much and I love it so, so much. When I have super dry lips at night, I apply this and by the next morning, I feel like my lips just feel so much more hydrated and they look so much better. It is described to be a cream, but I think it's more of an ointment because it's kind of like transparent. It's very like Vaseline-y in a way, but I think it just does such a good job at protecting your skin. If you like to go skiing or something where you are exposed to an extreme cold, I think this is a really good multi-purpose product to have. I like to use this like on my knuckles especially because it gets super dry and this is so so good. It is pretty thick and sticky so I like to apply a little bit on my hands and mix it in with a more lightweight hand cream. That way it kind of sinks into my skin much much better. And I don't use it only as a lip sleeping mask. I love to apply this over any lipstick when I want glowy lips. So most of the time I don't even use lip gloss anymore. This is like my lip balm and lip gloss in one because it's so so glossy. It has a funky scent. If you're sensitive, maybe buy the unscented version because that one is available as well. But I love this so much, honestly. It's such a staple in my collection in terms of skincare and kind of makeup as well. Starting with makeup now, this hands down, I have mentioned it way too many times, it's my favorite BB cream slash foundation face product of all time. It is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream RX and I just love how glowy it is. It is so beautiful on the skin. Like your skin just looks healthy. It does not emphasize my dry skin. It doesn't emphasize dry patches. It literally makes your skin look like K-drama skin or like advertisement skin. It makes your skin look so supple and so healthy and that is why I love it. It has a good coverage. It's not like it's going to completely mask out your face. Like it doesn't have as much of a coverage like the Catrice True Skin Foundation has. But the glow, this is literally, if you want to look healthy and just really make you look glowy oh my god this is just everything you would ever need this is my second bottle doesn't sound like a lot but this lasts a lot for me because i don't apply it like everywhere concentrate foundation in general just on the inner part of my face or where i really need it which in turn makes it look more natural but this product has been with me now for two years i love it to death i cannot go without it i hope they never discontinue it because i for sure will keep this in my makeup collection for as long as i can i have a bunch of videos using it so just go search my channel you'll find one it's also very nice that it has a good amount of spf in it which does not substitute you using actual sunscreen so please don't skip it now for blushes which is probably what brings the most glowiness and the most blushiness to your face. I have four that I really enjoy. The first one I want to talk about is from a German drugstore brand. So I don't know if internationally this is easy to get, but if you're from Europe or if you're from Germany or from Austria, I think it is very accessible to you. And it is the Trended Up Super Glow Baked Blush. I've mentioned this as well on my channel before. And I really, really enjoyed this blush because of it being a baked formula. I really enjoy a baked blush. It doesn't have glitter or anything in it. It's really just a beautiful sheen on your cheeks. I love to use this the most as like a blush topper because for it to give me the color I want, I would have to apply 
more because it is a bit more sheer and that would give me just way too much glow so I prefer to use let's say a lipstick as a base I love to do that and then I put this on top to kind of set it but also give it still a little bit of a glow and it works amazingly for that I think this one is under four euros which is like craziness to me it's beautiful they have different shades and this shade 030 really has no glitter it's just shimmer beautiful so i love to use this as kind of like a blush topper the next one is also from the drugstore and this one is from catrice it is the cheek lover oil infused blush and it is the shade 010 blooming hibiscus this is what it looks like for me with this blush it's almost the same i prefer to use this as a blush topper because it has an intense amount of shimmer you can see it has like a very intense gold kind of shimmer to it it's not an overspray not like dusted over it's like fully emerged into the entire blush from the side you can see it gives you like a corally pink kind of color but it has that amazing gold sheen to it i turned down the lighting a little bit and came a little closer so you can see the glow it gives So for me, this is kind of also like multi-purpose. I can use this as a super intense glowy blush or I can use it just as a topper, which is what I usually do. But if you like a very intense glowy cheek, by all means, you can apply it on its own. It'll look amazing, but I'm a little bit more like, I want a subtle amount of glow, not too much, but it's just such a beautiful shade so i think this should be accessible to more people than the trended up ones this is a color that speaks to you you like glowy blushes i don't think you can go wrong with this but one thing it is oil infused it has coconut oil in it so if you know that coconut oil just doesn't work with your skin maybe skip this one the next blush is a little bit more expensive but it is one of my favorites hands down really i love it so dang much because the color you'll see it's so different from the other two this one is the the bomb cabana boy blush i am not gonna lie i bought this kind of because of the packaging <laughs> and then i was super happy that i love the color so much i am more of like a neutral to cool toned person and this blush is a beautiful cool toned mauvey berry kind of color it's more berry than mauve to be honest and I know mine looks weird because it broke and I had to press it down again, so please don't mind the weird texture. <laughs> but this color, oh my god, I, like, I have been out in the cold kind of look, but also that I have been to the beach kind of look. It's kind of, it's like two in one. In the summer with bronzer and this on the cheeks gives you almost like that, not burned effect, but it makes you look so, so summery. It is very pigmented, so I think if you have a deeper skin tone than I have, this will work so good on you because you can build it up. So if you're fair like I am, you can still use it because you can sheer it out. It's so blendable and it will never look too much. Here you can see the color difference. It looks way more warm toned, way more peachy kind of. And this one looks very, very cool toned. It looks scary cool toned, but on the cheeks, it's perfect. It gives you that like summery kind of vibe and this with gold highlighter, simple eye makeup and bronzer, I think it's just such a staple color and formula to have. It's hands down one of my holy grail blushes, definitely. Like with the Physicians Formula Butter Blush in Rosy Pink, this one is my other all-time favorite glowy blush. I think it's so versatile, I think it'll flatter so many different skin tones, so if you have been kind of eyeing this and you're not sure if you should get it, get it. You will not be disappointed. And the last blush is the most expensive one I have to show you today and I'm going to declutter it actually right after this video but that is only because I believe it has expired because I've had this for so long. The MAC blush in the shade Peachy Keen. It is also just like a rosy pinky kind of shimmery shade. It has a gold sheen throughout it but the sheen is way more subdued than let's say with the Catrice blush. With this one, I can apply a lot of blush and I know I get more color than I get shimmer. So I don't have to be scared of having overly shimmery, glowy cheeks. I will have beautiful blushed cheeks 
with a subtle sheen. It's kind of like a very impulsive purchase, but it turned out to be one of my favorite blushes because of its formula. This one is a sheer tone blush, so you can definitely sheer it out but you can also build it up. So I think this will work for a lot of people as well and this blush is just perfect for the spring and summer time. I'm only decluttering it because it smells very weird. It really smells off. It's not a blush I use super often or super regularly, but when I did use it, I was always like, oh my god, why don't I use this like every day? It's perfect. It's like when I want something rosy, not too warm tone, but I also don't want to go for a very cool tone blush, this is the blush I used to reach for and I have loved it a lot and I still recommend it so much. So if you want to splurge a bit more and this color sounds like something you would like, you like the blendability and the way you can build it up factor of it, I would totally say go ahead and get it. For highlighter, I'm so happy that I have an amazing highlighter to share with you that is under $10, which is crazy. It's like bananas. I think this highlighter is better than Becca highlighters. I had two highlighters. One was Champagne Pop. I decluttered that a couple of weeks ago because it was so old. And I have Moonstone, but Moonstone doesn't come near this like at all. It is the Catrice More Than Glow highlighter. I heard Tati talk about it, but I had seen it in my drugstore even before she talked about it But I was like, oh, I don't need a new highlighter. I have my Becca highlighter It's just like it doesn't make any sense to buy myself even more. Oh my god this highlighter guys It is the most intense wet looking but so skin adjusting kind of highlighter I have ever tried. You apply it on your skin. It doesn't enhance texture. It doesn't enhance fine lines. It literally looks, when you swatch it, it looks wet on the finger, but it's so thin. I have it in my inner corners, I have it on my nose, and I have it on my cupid's bow. I don't have it on my cheeks because the blush was glowy already. So creamy to the touch. It blends out seamlessly. I am the most impressed because it's a powder product, but it's so creamy and looks so skin-like, although it is a powder. I have the shade 010 Ultimate Platinum Glaze. They had two other shades. One was more rosy and one was more goldeny, which the gold one looked so similar to Champagne Pop, but I wanted something very light that complements my skin tone very well and that will brighten my skin tone. And this is it. I'm just so happy that I found it because this is literally the only highlighter I ever want to use again. And my MAC Soft and Gentle. That one is also an amazing highlighter because it's baked and it's a different tone. It's more rosy. But this is the perfect champagne kind of color. Look at the reflection of it. It's... Ah, I can't stop talking about it. It's just so good. I just never expected to be so crazy over highlighter. It just looks so, so pretty. If you're on the hunt for a new highlighter and you don't want to spend a lot, go with this one. Really, it's so, so good. I will not buy a high-end highlighter anymore because I don't need to because I have this. It's so good. On to lips and then we're done because there is not really a glowy mascara or like glowy eyebrows. I don't think that's a trend. <laughs> for lipsticks, I have two. One more affordable, one more expensive. The more affordable one I have mentioned on my channel before as well. It is the Essence Cool Collagen Plumping Lipstick. A standard creamy lipstick, but it's very, 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 very glowy. It's like butter when you apply it. They have a bunch of different shades. It has a minty kind of sensation to it. So if you don't enjoy that, don't go for it. But this is like like just beautiful like I just need a lipstick right now you apply it you are done it's so good there is not much more to say about it, it smells also very sweet and I really like the scent it smells kind of cake ish or like cupcakey ish really like it <laughs> the other one is the L'Oreal Colorie Shine Guava Plump Lipstick and this one also has like a minty kind of sensation to it I love the color it's like baby pink, cool toned pink, but it's so beautiful in the summer. It does not last very long. It lasts even less than the Essence one and it doesn't come with like a bunch 
of product so you run out of this pretty fast if you fall in love with it like I did. It's my second one and I just really like it. I just wish it would last a bit longer. This one also like butter on the lips. I have it on right now but with lip gloss over top and it's just so easy to use. The color is just very beautiful. The formula feels very nice. It has a tingly sensation to it so if you don't like minty kind of products skip it i personally love minty lip products i know i know a lot of people hate them but i love them so much especially in the summertime it's like so refreshing love it for lip gloss honestly i have tried a bunch of lip glosses in my life but i have been just stuck on these lip glosses from essence simply because they are super inexpensive they have a good amount of shades and i'm generally a fan of like just get yourself a clear one you can use it over any lipstick because it just works and i have been just loving these so so much i have another that is more with color which is called shadow rose it's the most beautiful lip gloss you can use on its own it will give you a good amount of color it looks super super pretty and then i have one which i think was either called let it go i don't even know but it's kind of like a shimmery champagne -y kind of color this on top of any lipstick it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it makes your lips look so plump and so so glowy because it has that sheen to it so if you like like Fenty gloss bomb ish type of looks but you don't want to spend as much this one is such a good option They're vegan cruelty free affordable accessible <laughs> what more do you want and last but not least another gloss which i am wearing right now over top of that l'oreal one this is from catrice it's the volumizing tint and glow lip booster i know a lot of people don't like minty lip products and they especially don't like ph adjusting lip products and i am that weirdo who absolutely loves it because on me it turns a very pretty color i naturally have very pale lips Really, there's like no color at all. So I love to use lip products like these. That Essence in this new lip gloss formula, they also have one of these like lip glow kind of lip glosses, but I have been sticking to this one from Catrice because I have not yet finished it. So if you like something to give you a little bit of color so you don't have to use the lipstick underneath because once the gloss fades, you have a little bit of a stain, but it's not like a lip tint so you don't have to worry you can get rid of it very easily i like that it doesn't have shimmer and they also have different versions of this one i think i think they have one that is like super spicy something that is supposed to be very very volumizing but this one for me is perfect again i love the minty sensation the cold sensation on the lips this is like my favorite spring and summertime lip gloss it brings me joy it just makes me happy <laughs> this completes this video these were all the glowy makeup products that i love so so much i think most of these should be very accessible and also affordable for you with the exception of that one mac blush but i love these products so much i love to have them in my collection i want to keep having and loving them i hope you guys enjoyed this video found it helpful if you did give me a thumbs up or don't it's completely up to you and i hope to see you in my next video bye